My next guest this morning is local author and personality Reef Perkins. Now, Reef has lived a very colorful life. He's been a Vietnam veteran, a smuggler, a salvager, and he tells all in his latest book entitled Sex, Salvage, and Secrets. This was published by Absolutely Amazing eBooks, which we've talked before about on the show. Now, these real life experiences that you'll find in this book are so much more entertaining than any fiction. Reef, thank you for joining no, us thanks, today. No, thanks, Janet. Now, Reef, I have to ask why you decided to write this book about all of your real life experiences. Uh, the non flippant answer is that one day my son came up to me, Quincy, and he goes, What was your dad like? And I went, Eh. And I didn't really hadn't thought about it, I mean, you know, enough to give him anything worth hearing. And then it dawned on me later that someday he'll have a kid and they'll come up and say, well, what was your dad like? Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be in that kind of awkward position. You would think that you would know something. And of course, you know, Quincy doesn't know about anything too much since, w since he was born. So mm -hmm. really I wrote it for him. Was I started out just to write a one copy memoir. That's all it was going to be. It wasn't going to be a book. It was going to be just something I could give him. Mm -hmm. So did you include everything in this book then, since it is for your son? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not everything. You had to leave out, leave out a couple of things. But it sounds yeah. like you have some great real life experiences in there, including yeah. your time in Vietnam you talked about. Yeah. Well, you know, it doesn't dawn on one until you look back on it, what you've done. I mean, to me, I just normal going along. And then when I started this, I went, geez, that's kind of odd. You know, it's, it's, it's a great writing of a memoir for, you know, for your family is great too, but also you sort of get to relive your own life because I didn't remember 90% of what's in this book. I didn't remember until I sat down and thought about it. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite experience that you could share with us this morning, Reef? Uh, I think it was getting drunk with Shoah Rhodes last <laughs> week. <laughs> You're not supposed to <laughs> oh, say <sorry>. that. <laughs> oh. uh, favorite experience with the book? Yeah. In the book. In the book, yeah. Uh, geez, that's really hard to say. There was, it's, it's kind of strange. I mean, I, I guess the, one of my favorite moments was jumping out of a helicopter and the, the time between jumping out of the helicopter and hitting the water was one of my favorite periods. It only lasts about two seconds, but. Scariest two seconds ever? No, that's the unscary part. It's when you hit the water and land on the, the sharks and stuff. Oh, It gets okay. a little spooky, but up in the air, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> Lapping along. A little brief, but it's fun. <laughs> Great experience, oh, yeah. it sounds like. And then I have to ask, smuggling. Yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> no, I think I'll just take that out of the book. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I just got caught up in the, in the day. You know, we were the, known as the gentleman smugglers. There's a, a book out called Jackpot mm -hmm. that chronicles the, our side and the uh, government side, uh, you know, back 30-some years ago now. But yeah, I just, uh, it seemed like the right thing to do at the time was either that or, uh, you know, park cars at the Casa Marina, which I also did, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm interested in this book. I will have to pick up a copy. Oh, oh great. Is this your first book that you've published or have you Oh yeah, no, others? this is it, probably last two. Really? Yeah. You don't think you're gonna do another one? No, I, I don't know what I, else I would write about, you know? I mean, I do have a little strange bit of fiction going on, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is it. Now, have you always been writing, though, Reef? Or was this, when you decided to write yeah. this book, that was the first time you'd really uh, picked up a pen and started trying to make something? No, I had been scribbling for a long time. I have a, hundreds of pages of stuff. But this was the first thing I did. This is a four and a half year project, because mm -hmm. I actually had to learn how to use commas. I'm still a little dicey on the semicolon, you know, <laughs> and hyphens I'm big on. But yeah, so uh, this is my first shot at it here, and I had a lot of help. And the, 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 what's that when you thank people? That's two and a half pages. I mean, a lot of people helped me get through this. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. And people can pick up a copy of the book where? Right now, it's just on uh, uh, absolutelyamazingebooks.com. Mm -hmm. And we're going for a print on demand maybe in another month or so. That'll be out. Okay. And now, Reef, I have to ask. What did Quincy say when he read the book? He said, you wrote it for your son. Mm -hmm. So what was his response to everything? He wanted to know what kind of royalties he would get <laughs> for <laughs> being included in the book. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure it's sunk in yet, whether he really mm -hmm. believes that I've actually mm -hmm. done it. But uh, he's been very helpful. He, he did the cover of the book, and uh, yeah, he's been a big help to me. So I, th I think he was happy, and uh, I think he begins to understand the reason I wrote it now. Mm -hmm. 
And Reef, I didn't ask you at the beginning, but how long have you been here in Key West for? 1970. 1970? Yeah, mm -hmm. Any chance of you leaving the island, or are you here to stay? I'm here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, good. <laughs> yeah, there is no place else. I've looked at them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Well, I hope everybody can pick up your copy of Sex, Salvage, and Secrets. You can find it on absolutelyamazingebooks.com. Reef, it's been a pleasure talking with you. You this betcha. Morning. Thanks. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Much more to come.